Uh, yes, this is a uh, carburetor for a 1970 horse Johnson, and um, I got them boiled at a marine shop, and I'm putting them back together now. I took them apart. You got to take them completely apart, and uh, so they got a lot of small ports in there, and uh, I was going to put them back together to show you how to put them back together. Okay, let's see. This is the middle carburetor here. So, this is your needle, needle valve seat. It goes right there. And you have to have your gasket underneath it. So let me just tighten it up here. And then you have your float is this you need to make sure that there's no holes in the float you make sure it's very very clean um, and you also need to put it in like water if you want to use the same float some floats actually come with the kits and some of them don't so when you order a kit you need to make sure that either the you know if your floats good go ahead and uh, keep your old float but in this case I had bought new floats for it so what you do, you take, uh, this is your, your needle valve and your spring. You got to put that on there first. Then that sits inside of the seat. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. So, what you do, you have a pin like this that goes through this to, to feed through the float so it can go up and down. So, let me go ahead and do that. Whenever you get through, you'll see that the float and the pin, see the pin's connected into the float on both sides. You should be able to see brass on both sides. Then here you should be able to see the pin inside of the seat. From the float from the top of the float to the to the part where the gasket is on the carburetor should equal three quarters no uh, yeah three quarters of an inch no more no less that way it won't flood out on you so you should be able to hear the noise you pick it up so let me just make sure everything's tight 